So what we see here is the Kandinsky um, assignment that we use to try to teach the elements of art and the principle of design. One of the curricular things has to do with perception, which the more you look, the more you see. The second curricular lens that we have is called deconstruction construction. And we purposely put the word deconstruction on there is because we want them to take things apart. So how do you take something apart and then reconstruct and construct your own understanding? So those are the two curricular things that is basically the foundation of this lesson. So I was able to create this very easily. I mean, I grabbed the JPEG, right, of the Kandinsky painting that we used first for the first, you know, kind of a poster, posted assignment collaborate to create an image inspired by Kandinsky, use the elements of art and the principle of design, okay? So choose a table. So what I did is instead of the page, I put table. We are in the virtual classroom, but our reference is still in the physical classroom. And the reason why the physical classroom is so important is because it allows us, even if it's in our minds, a kinesthetic experience of what learning is. One of the interesting things about this is, is that right now you can see the animation. That is part of the function that Canva has basically kind of incorporated as one of the tools to make the design, to animate something. But when this thing is actually happening, imagine 60 students all going from elements, dragging lines, dragging shapes, typing in things, so literally what you are seeing is a real life, like real time process of the creative process. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing to see. The potentials are limitless. I don't need to assess this lesson when I'm using Canva because the assessment now is the process. The assessment is not at the end of the lesson at a dead stop point. The students can go back in there. It is what we call a lifelong learning opportunity. This thing will live on. When they go to college, they still have this account. They can go in there and play around, invite other people. And as teachers, that's what we want to develop on our, with our students, that we start something here. And I leave you with enough stuff so that they, you can use this opportunity to inspire yourself and become what we call lifelong learners.